what to do when your specific person says that they are not ready for a relationship. I can empathize with this so much because for the longest time, I was in a connection with my specific person and he just was not ready. And he kept telling me, not yet, not yet, not yet, I'm not ready. And when we first met, and I've written about this in my book, How I Manifested My Specific Person, there was such a sad moment where we met and we hadn't seen each other for a few months and I tried to forget about him, but I couldn't. And we met up and we had this amazing connection again we'd gravitated to each other and we were just so you know really really connected and it was amazing and I'd never experienced anything like that and that night I was really just like why are we not together and I was like shaking him and saying why are we not together I was not playing it cool at all I was literally just laying my heart on the table and saying I just want to be with you and I don't understand we have an amazing connection why can't we just be together? What's stopping you? And, you know, I was very much in a kind of chasing energy and didn't understand that um, he just was where he was. And it wasn't about me. And the thing that was hardest about it, looking back, was that I took it so personally and I really did make it about me. Um, But really, it was just that longing of, I want to complete this connection. I want it to be its full potential. And it felt like he wasn't letting me. And really, in retrospect, I can see that I had so much to learn within myself. And him not being ready was perfect because it gave me time to really get him off the pedestal and to learn that he wasn't going to solve my problems and that he wasn't the cure and that he wasn't the answer really and all that time that he wasn't ready he was becoming someone who would be ready so he was living his life and going through the things that he needed to experience in his his life to evolve into someone that he could be because the fact is that he as he was back then He didn't feel worthy. And there are videos um, with me and him where he talks about this and he talks about how he he just felt like he couldn't give me what he wanted to give me. He was in a place in his life where he was afraid of um, letting me down and he just didn't want to face that. He didn't, he'd been through a lot leading up to the point where we'd met. And there was a lot of things that I didn't understand about his journey and about where he was. that he needed to resolve and process in order for him to be the person um, that I needed him to be and that he wanted to be, right? And the thing is that you can't force someone to be ready and you don't want to. Trust me, you don't want to because I really did experience the whole thing of being with him when he wasn't ready and it was brutal and it was painful and it ended in an awful, awful heartbreak. And so what I want you to do is let this person be where they are in their journey and trust that it's absolutely for you and for your benefit. You don't want to force this person to be ready when they're not. And so what I did um, is, you know, I found it really hard because I never had any of these conversations and I didn't understand it. And all I could hear was he doesn't want me. He doesn't want me. He doesn't want me. And how can I make him make him want me? That's where my head was at. Um, But looking back, um, you know, what I did was it, I eventually just accepted it and I had to let it go because it was too painful to hold on so tightly. So I let it go. I let him be where he was. He went traveling. He had other girlfriends, which felt like, what? Like, how can you not be ready, but then be in a relationship with someone else? That was really, really hard. But looking back, those relationships that he had, he was choosing specifically people that he didn't see himself with in the long run. And so I, I really felt that when I, when I was witnessing it from afar, I felt like, you know, initially I thought I felt really hurt. Like, why, why does she get to be in a relationship when I've got the stronger connection? I really was absolutely adamant that I had the strongest connection with him. But he needed, again, he needed to experience all of these other relationships in order to become the person that um, he needed to be, right? So he needed to learn lessons in other relationships from other people that I couldn't give him. So again, it was a case of letting him be where he was. And, you know, if you're watching this and uh, you're thinking, oh my God, this sounds brutal. 
I mean, my journey was very long. My my journey was really long. I knew nothing about manifestation properly for years. And so I was just going with it, buying into the story, buying into the narrative, being a victim, really, in, in the process. And I I really struggled and I felt not good enough. And he kept reflecting back to me um, this feeling of not being chosen and not being good enough. And it was only when I started to go, okay, he is where he is. I'm going to put myself first. I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to be creative. I'm going to do the things I love. I'm going to like be happy. I'm going to be happy no matter what. I'm going to be loved no matter what. I'm going to feel loved no matter what he does. And I stopped relying on him to make me feel that, that things really began to change. So when I became the change, when I became the one that made me feel loved, when I became the one to cultivate those feelings, that's when I didn't need him as much. And when it was much easier for him to come in again. So there were so many lessons in my journey, just like there'll be so many lessons in your journey. But when someone says they're not ready, you have to believe them. You just have to believe them. You have to let them be where they are, knowing that it's temporary, okay? It's it's a temporary thing. They are where they are right now. And the most loving thing that you can do is just let them be where they are and say thank you. Because I would like to be with the version of you that is ready. And I don't want the version of you that's not, not ready. And I remember actually saying that. I remember saying to the universe, I remember saying, only bring him to me when he's ready. Only bring him to me when he's ready. And that evolved into um, me always feeling like there was a reason why he wasn't ready. So I started to not say that. So at first I was saying only bring him to me when he's ready, but part of me always felt like maybe he'll never be ready. So I started to say, there's nothing in between us now. There's no reason why we can't be together because that felt like more progress. And I started to really buy into that Uh, idea and that feeling of there's no reason why we can't be together because before there was always a reason you know he's not ready he's at the other side of the earth he's with someone else I'm with someone else there's always something why you know we're not ready why it can't why it can't happen so how did it feel for me to then feel within myself there's nothing in between us I'm ready and there's no reason why we can't be together now how did that feel? And it felt different. And even I felt some resistance to it because I was scared. And I realized that he was just reflecting back to me my own fear of being rejected, my own fear of not being good enough. And so when I started to work on that, again, things changed again. But honestly, you have to let people be where they are and see it as an opportunity for growth within yourself. Um, and trust the process and trust that you're exactly where you're meant to be in this connection with this person and it's unfolding as it should in perfect timing and you're learning the specific lessons that you need to learn for you in this relationship it's not about them it's not about them it's about you I promise you because all you have is you your experience is yours so trust that this is meant to be this way uh, and that you're you're creating a relationship where you're ready and this person is ready, and that that will happen in time. So I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to speak to other people who are just like you on a journey to creating a relationship um, with a specific person maybe, or anything else in the manifestation world, whatever you want to create, I've got my Corey's Transformation Circle, which is starting on the 1st of June. If you'd like to sign up, you can find all the information on my website. It's going to be amazing conversations. You can't not grow. You can't not evolve in these conversations. They are incredibly powerful and I'd love to see you there. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.